This is this, a session to share with everyone what's going on in China. Uh, we're all reading a lot about China in the news today, about massive changes in the government there. And we have a wonderful delegation who have been at the forefront of driving open this pathway to green and inclusive growth. So the idea is to improve so it's dual goals, improving the well-being of people, equity among people, and a very um, intense focus on poverty alleviation in China at the same time as securing the environment, improving the condition of nature across the country. And um, I'll just quote from Xi Jinping. In 2013, he called for the creation of an ecological civilization that, and declared that as China's dream to develop an ecological civilization for the 21st century. And it might sound crazy. In, in some ways, China has had you know, the most rapid growth by GDP standards for several decades, but also the most rapid degradation of the environment over those same decades. And how can we reconcile the conflict in that form of development? That's what the leaders who will come up in a moment are, are working on, and so far with a lot of inspiration and success. When did the change start happening? It's hard to say, and you can best ask them, but in many conversations it comes up that in 1998, there was massive flooding, for those old enough to remember, massive flooding that was caused by deforestation in the upper reaches of the Yangtze River Basin especially. And that led to a real wake up as to the costs of pursuing growth with a sole focus on GDP sorts of metrics. And in the Follow-up, after that flooding, very rapidly, China developed the biggest payment for ecosystem services program in the world, in English often called the Sloping Land Conversion Program or the Grain to Green Program. Anybody want to guess how many households got involved in this program to change on steep slopes from growing rice or other um, annual crops to instead planting deeply rooted forest or orchards and things. How many households enrolled in this program? It was 120 million households, almost overnight. And China went from having one of the highest deforestation rates in the world to now the highest reforestation rate in the world. So there, there a lot of change is underway. A lot of improvements can be made to the change. And we'll have an open discussion now of where China is, what the focus is in constructing this, the science and the policy and all of the finance to support an ecological civilization. And we'll first hear from two leaders, Professor Ouyang, I'll introduce now and I'll introduce the rest later. He's my longtime friend. Please come up. 